you mentioned that Indians settled in Australia thousands of years ago. It means that they had the chance to conquer that piece of territory question mark. Why didn't they do this like the Europeans? Why such a difference in mindset where one race conducts a genocide on a continental scale like in North America, South America, etc. Whereas the other one which had reached regions which Europeans did not even dream to have existed at least at the time, lived in harmony. Also, please give an estimate number of people Europeans have killed in Australia, Americas and countries like New Zealand. Okay. So, there is no question about the fact that ancient Indians voyaged to Australia. When did this happen? Somewhere around 4,300 years ago. You can look it up. You will find articles in Nature, you will find National Geographic articles and so on. The time period is about roughly 4,300 years before today, give or take 100 or 200 years, around that sort of time period. How do we know this happened? How do we know? Because that's the time when new genetics suddenly appear among the native population of Australia. Who, the, 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 who are the natives of Australia? Today they are called the Australian, Australian Aborigines, the Aboriginal people of Australia. They are not called the Indigenous Australians, I suppose they may be called that too, but the, the term that I have heard since I was a kid was Australian Aborigines. So that's the native, true native people of Australia, not the Europeans. So these people have been living in Australia for at least 50,000 years. 50,000. And suddenly, about 4,300 years ago, their genetics change. And some new genes come in. A set of new genetics appear in the Australian populations. And these genetics are clearly Indian subcontinental genetics. So if you look at Australia's population today, the native population of Australia today, approximately 10, between 9 to 11 percent of their genetics on average are of Indian origin. And you will find more Indian origin genetics in the north and west of Australia. Let's take a look at the map, shall we? So that we understand what we are talking about. All right. Here is map. So you can see where India is. Now you can see where Australia is. What is the north of Australia? It's all of this, right? What is the northwest of Australia? It's this. Clearly, it's the region of part of Australia that is closest to India. So Indians voyaged by sea, maybe through Southeast Asia or, or, or wherever, but it, it, they voyaged by sea. Indians uh, had ships. Indians could undertake sea voyages. And they, they appeared in Australia. We don't know whether Indians settled there or Indians stayed there for a while or Indians visited there regularly. But Indian genetics appears there, which means that Indians interbred with the people of Australia. And if you look at the northeast of Australia, that's where you will have more Indian genetics than maybe uh, southern Australia, Tasmania, or whatever. Tasmanians are obviously have been completely genocided out of existence by the whites, but uh, in other parts of Australia, natives still exist. So more Indian genetics in the northwest of Australia and central Australia compared to southern Australia. Uh, and this all appears about 4,300 years before today. What also changed in Australia around that time, exactly at that time, is that a new species of animal appeared in Australia. Exactly when these new genetics arrive Australia, in Australia. What new species of animal arrive? Let me show you. It's called Australian Dingo, which is a nice dog. This, if you look at this dog, this is your standard issue Indian dog that you will see on every, see on every street corner. It's the same dog. So this dog suddenly appears in Australia, which was not in, available in Australia ever before. And this dog looks like your standard Indian street dog. Right? Um, so yeah. So a new dog, a new animal appears in Australia. Clearly the Indians brought this dog as well. And new tools also appear in Australia around this time. And even new a new language family appears in Australia around this time. Um, so that is what we know 
clearly indians went there um was it a single voyage were, were the multiple voyages did indians stay there and have local wives or whatever and then leave we don't know what happened who the people were who the who ancient indians were at the same time we have the yamnaya invasion of europe that's happening at the same time we have the introduction at the same time of indian cattle in west asia in, in egypt so indians seem to have been traveling across the world at, at this time and they reached australia and they did not do any genocide of the australians clearly there is zero evidence of that so indians they they interacted pretty peacefully with the australians that's what we know right and why did indians not do what the whites did to australia it's a it's a cultural thing the cultural thing it's a civilizational thing um yeah do we have an estimate of how many native australians were killed by the europeans uh i'm not sure about the in in australia proper how many were wiped out okay uh abori abori Okay, enslaved. My goodness, what's wrong with me? E N S L A V V E D. Ah oh, man. So if you look at the images, you will see that Austra- the Australian Aboriginal people were treated like animals. Uh, they were treated like flora and fauna. I mean, check this out. People in in chains. Uh, it was it was absolutely terrible atrocious uh, treatment that these people got they were treated like animals and many of them w- would have been killed uh, another question we can ask google is uh, how many native tasmanians existed before euro europeans uh, appeared let's see oh really just 15000 people in tasmania okay that's what google says all right so between 3 to 5 15000 people only were genocided in tasmania what about the americas in north america maybe 100 100 million between 50 to 100 million uh, native americans were genocided in north america in south america i i'm not not quite sure you can look it up so yeah new zealand once again i'm not really sure and we can do the do the research us over here or you can do it in your free time but the numbers are pretty pretty mind boggling overall